front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in beautiful sunny Withville, Virginia. Just look at all the sunshine out there, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I stopped in town to stop for breakfast at Bojangles, which they have one right up the street from here, and I came across this old Long John Silvers. Now this hasn't been a Long John's in several years, and actually, after Long John's, it became another place, a mom and pop type place called the Dog House, which sold breakfast, lunch, and seemed to be well-loved in the community here. Now, from what I understand, this place closed about three months ago or so, and based on the last review, it's because the landlord wanted to double the rent for the building, which is absolutely absurd and just selfish and greedy. So, like any other business would do, they packed up and left. And I hate to see that because based on what I'd seen on the reviews, I would have loved to stop here for breakfast this morning. And, well, unfortunately, that's not possible. So it gives me an opportunity to check this place out. And this one actually had a drive through where the building was up high enough that they had a little elevator to put your payment on and they would bring your food down on. Like I had seen at the Long John's in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I've only ever seen one other like this one, and it was that one up in Hermitage. So, really unique. Still has a Long John vibes all over this place. And, well, let's dodge some raindrops and check it out. Okie dokie, here's your old Long John Silver slash The Dog House. Closed up. And... <laughs> Well, if anybody's willing to pay this landlord $7,000 a month, bless their heart, as Mary would say. That's ridiculous. I hope the business that left here, though, I hope they found a place somewhere else that's better. Anyway, let's take a look in here. See how it looks. It's all completely cleaned out. Looks nice in there. I will say that. Still has a Long John's vibe to it, but it doesn't look bad. Like what they did with the interior, that's for sure. Let's take a look through this door here. Yeah, not bad at all. Very nice. I assume they would have had tables here on the left side of along the wall. Restrooms are straight ahead. And when this was LJS, your ordering counter right there in the kitchen, straight ahead. Maybe a planner right here, which I see the dirt for. Your old signless sign. Handicap ramp over here. Another dining room. big dining room that's for sure you have the main one over there this one over here hmm in the drive through you actually drive around the front of the building here's their handicap spots here now that's a thing if this drive through would back up far enough you'd be stuck here but I mean that's a lot of places anymore but there's a look at the joint from afar And, yeah, I mean, this is like most Long Johns that I've been to, where you go through the drive through and it wraps around the front of the building. I know the one in New Ken or Lower Burl does that. There's your uh, little drive through sign that's gone. Take a look through this window here. Not much going on in there. No, not a thing. <laughs> anyway, doing the lap out here in the rain. Roses. Interesting store. Wonder what that one was. Do you know what that store was before Roses? Because they tend to take over old department stores. Not much to see back here. Rain's picking up again, too. 
and I'll show you that drive through window over here. It's not even a window. It's an elevator, and that's it. The exit sign. A little bit of parking right here. Yeah, check this out. The, the Vittelweyer call. You have your call button. And they speak to you through that, and that door would open up. They have it bolted shut. It looks like, like, that's yeah, a piece of siding they put in there. But normally that window would shut. And I'd seen this at the one in Hermitage. Like I said, you put your money or your card on the little elevator, hit the call button, it sends it up. And then they would bring it back with your food and your drink on a tray there. On the tray, not a tray, but in your bag and stuff. And hand it to you that way. Very cool little thing I've only ever seen once. And they have one here at this location. And it's mainly because the building sits up so high. That window is probably about five feet up. And the drive through which is very tight and narrow, by the way, goes uphill. So that's kind of neat. Let's take a look through this window while we're at it. Oh, can't even really see anything in there. A little bit. There we go. Let's see a little bit in there, but not much. That rain sucks. I think that's going to be a wrap for here anyway. But anyway, that's a look at that. Very tight drive through. But it, it reminds me of the one, like I said, in uh, Lower Burl, New Kensington, PA, where the drive through wraps around the front. It's really narrow like that. But they don't have an elevator. They actually have a window with somebody that hands you your food. But that's pretty cool. Unique and rare to see. Well, that weather sure isn't very nice out there today. I'll tell you that. Kind of stinks with the rain, but that's all right. We got to check it out, and I got to show you uh, the cool little elevator thing for the food. Next time I'm up in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, I'll have to purposely stop at that Long John's and do a little video in a drive through just so you can see how it works. Um, I'm sure there's videos on YouTube, though, if you look it up. It's called Vittelweyer. That's what this one is. I don't know if that's the same one that they have at the one in Hermitage, PA, but I don't know. I think it's cool. Until then, I'd never seen a thing like that, nor heard of such a thing. But it, it's, I guess it's kind of like when you go to the bank or a pharmacy, and they have those little tubes, and you hit the send button, it shoots it up through the pipe and into the building, and then they fill it up with uh, either your prescription or if you're at a bank your card or money or whatever and then send it back so pretty cool anyway i'm gonna wrap up this video i'm getting very hungry and there's a bojangles up the street calling my name and i want to hit that up and get some grub and uh, well since it's morning probably a steak biscuit with pimento cheese and bow rounds so bad for you but so good for the soul I'll take it. I'll take it. You only live once, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content if you would like to. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.